Leo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you a reading, my love. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, you can know it does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch, and I'm telling you now, okay? Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Leo, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth, my love. If you found the message or the message found you, it's because there's something in here for you or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. No gender or age here, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifa, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Leo, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, and donations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you again. All right, guys. First, I have to um, apologize in advance because I am getting over something absolutely terrible. So if I'm coughing, sneezing, hacking up stuff, forgive me, please. I'm trying to push through here. All right. Let's talk about your energy, though. Um, lots of water. Lots and lots of water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, definitely um, in your energy. You may have those in your chart or you're connected in some way or you're very, very, very um, highly emotional right now. Um, it feels more so like, um, how can I say this? Uh, um, like the... Six of Swords, I guess, maybe if I was speaking of air, like a person in a boat in the middle of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Um, kind of like you've, uh, it, it's not, it, it doesn't feel like isolation. It feels more so like searching or, yeah, I want to say it like that, searching. Like you're just taking a chance in the drift and letting it lead you someplace nice. You know what I mean? That's how the energy feels. Let's see what's going on. I pulled a queen of the moon for you. Leo, please. Leo. Growth. Nice. Very nice. I like it. And self-reflection. Yeah, you know, see the water? A lot of water here. You know what I mean? Um, with growth, you know, it, this is big changes in your life. Uh, this is a transition in life. This is, you know, like I said, it's not, I don't feel like you're kind of like feeling lonely. It's more so like a self like I need to separate and and just try something different, try something new, explore some um, new options, you know, uh, broaden my horizons, uh, uh, you know, uh, spread my boundaries out a little more. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's kind of what happens in growth, in the process of growth, you know. Um, through that process comes in the self-reflection because as you broaden those horizons and boundaries and um, elevate yourself and edify yourself, things like that, you kind of like look at yourself different um, as you fit into your new energy, into your new body. Um, you also don't want to kind of get caught in the shoulda, woulda, couldas in this energy because it's easy to do that. Um, just allow that um, uh, knowledge to kind of flow through, you know, that self-realization and reflection to flow through you. It's not a time for really judgment. And you wanted to make it a time of, of, of growth, of wisdom, you know, of understanding. This is a time that you look back on your journey and you say, okay, God, now I understand. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't feel like you understand why you went through the way you went through when you went through, then that's a time for in your personal prayers and uh, meditation to ask God to reveal those answers to you. Okay. All right. Let's do your spread. I want to use vision quest today. And guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. All of my decks are tight and upright. I will read reverse if it comes out as such. I do not read from the floor. Okay. 
Okay. Leo, please. Seven. Leo, thank you. Uh-huh, seven of earth, yeah. Uh, same energy. Seven of earth, seven of pentacles for a traditional deck. We'll talk about, uh, again, that reflection period, that growth period, that um, taking a second look at things, trying to figure out, you know, do I still keep applying myself to this or will this produce fruit? Will this grow? You know, after you've reached this part of your life, it's kind of like looking at things. I put blood, sweat, years, and tears into a crop that is not producing and when I go to harvest. So what's the point of, you know, you, you start asking yourself, what's the point of me can continuing or is there a point of me continuing to cultivate this crop if it doesn't produce fruit? You know what I'm saying? Eventually you want to harvest and eat, but that is like seven is really close to 10, 10 being like, uh, I guess what you would consider uh, the completion. Okay. So seven is close to 10. It's like, uh, do I, do I do it? Do I not? Do I continue? Do I not? Do I continue? Do I not? You know, it's a pickle of a moment, but this, when you're in those pickles, that's when, <coughs> excuse me, you have that reflection, you know, and you look back, you know, um, you know, maybe things you, you did you uh, put too much time in or did you not put enough time in? Did you do everything you were supposed to do? Did you do everything you could do? You know, things like that. That reflection time comes in and it pivots uh, this energy here to assist you with the next step in your journey. Let's crown this energy, please, for Leo. Let's crown this energy, please. Crown this energy, please, for Leo. There we go. And the crowning is the Ace of Earth. Yeah. Guys, this transition period that you're in right now literally is, uh, it, it's, it, it's a pivotal moment in life, a fork in the road that is divinely um, kind of orchestrated for you right now. The importance of this decision in your life right now, um, as far as your uh, direction, is blessed first and foremost, okay? Ace of Earth crowning, Ace of Pentacles. There's a new beginning to be had here because I think you're in a new you. You know what I'm saying? And in that new you, you are being blessed for the growth that you have and for the wisdom that you're gaining from this with this Ace of Earth energy. This is a tangible gift coming in. This is something new, something you can hold in your hand, maybe new car, new house, new job, new direction, um, new relationship. Pick one, it don't matter to me, okay? Let's see what's working against you. What's working against Leo? What's in the way right now? What's in the way? Thank you so much. And I have a star. Okay, so Aquarius energy here with the star. Listen, if you feel like, you know, I need, I don't have enough guidance. I don't have enough uh, assistance. I don't have enough help. You know, I need uh, some counsel. You know, when you're in your private prayers and meditation, if you feel like you're asking questions that you're not getting the answers to, that is nothing but self-doubt. <laughs> That's basically from what I'm seeing here, God is saying that you already have whatever you need to make this choice, but you want more. You know what I'm saying? But you have the information that you need. You want more. And I'm okay with that because we're human. You know what I mean? There's no judgment here. So I know how that feels. But you feel like you want more. I want to be, you know, in the limelight. I want to be um, divinely guided. I want you to hold my hand and walk me through this thing called life. But that would take away free will. And that was one of God's first gifts to us, free will. Don't forget that, okay? Something else is here. Um... There's a little bit of, uh, um, maybe Capricorn. Yeah, a little bit of Capricorn is here. Um, it, it feels, um, ego-ish or, or what do you call that? Like hard, um, not ego. What is that called? Maybe determination or... Yeah, like I gotta go, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. You, you know, maybe 
you know, how can I say this? Leo, if you find that you've been working really hard towards something that you feel is not coming back, like I got to get it, I got to have it, I got to get it, I got to have it, I got to get it, I got to have it, you know, just make sure that the work that you're put in, you're putting in gives you the return. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of like you, that Capricorn energy, you know, they're very hard, they're due diligent, they're they're very forceful with, with, with work. That's how this feels. <coughs> Excuse me. So be mindful of that as well, of slowing you down from progress, okay? Let's touch a bit on the past. Where's this coming from? What brought this on for Leo? Okay, I'll take it. And there's another. What brought this? Yeah, okay. So we have, uh, what brought this on for you? I have an eight of earth. Yeah, that's that work. You know, I think in the past, you kind of went into like a, this work mode. I gotta go, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. You definitely started mastering your craft, mastering your skills, which is respectful. But at the same time, it was like, you you kind of went in work mode without the lesson of the reason why you're going in the work mode. Am I saying that right? Yeah, I think I'm saying it right. Um, see, there's an emotional... God, this water is significant. Um, th there's an emotional change here that kind of... Your um, reaction to whatever this emotional thing is here uh, was, I'm going to work. That was like your reaction, how you gonna handle this. I'm just gonna double down on work. I'm going to work my way through. I'm gonna work my way out. I'm gonna work my way over. I'm gonna work my way around. But the thing is, is that there was a lesson in this situation here. There was a lesson. Herman in reverse, five of water in reverse. So you're saying like, I don't care, I'll be okay, you know, but you didn't get the lesson. That there's a point, there was a point to this emotional change. Yeah, there was a point to this emotional change. So you turned to work to get you through, pass, over, and around, which I understand. Again, I'm human. I, I Believe me, I get it, you know? But at this point now, after a while, with the work, 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 it's like, okay, where am I going? What am I doing? What is this for? You know, um, because I'm supposed to this and I'm supposed to that. Now, granted, you do have a divine gift uh, overhead, but what works against you is a feeling of not having favor. You understand what I'm saying? And it's not that you don't have favor. It's that you, I think, want more information and guidance on your journey. But from what this is reading here, God is saying, I gave you everything that you needed. So all you need to do is reflect on the journey. That's why self-reflection is coming in. If you reflect on the journey, you'll see that all of your questions that you have today have already been answered in your journey. You understand what I'm saying? Let's see where this is going. Future energy, please, for Leo. Hello. Nice. Daughter of fire. This is the feminine of the page of wands. New beginnings. New life. Ooh. Money just came in. Yeah, money just came in. Um, new beginnings, new life, new um, businesses, new, um, even better communication. Yes, like, uh, mm, how can I say that? Kind of like what I'm saying with you, with this journey and you wanting divine guidance. In the future, I think with this reflection, you'll start to receive the answers that you're looking for and the answers are going to be about your journey lovers at the bottom of the deck gemini energy um about your journey about you choosing this divine path and getting on this divine path and the purpose of your divine path and the purpose of your life and the purpose of your destination and the purpose of your journey and all of those things that come with that lover's energy there's that capricorn torment coming in here <coughs> excuse me Whew. Goodness, this devil energy is terrible. It, it's just, um, it's so constricting. It really is. It's constricting. Um, it's like a mindset, Leo, that you're struggling with of... <sighs> 
I'm not used to this energy from you. You guys are so free spirited and confident and 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 fiery and passion. And now it's like it, it's it's almost as if in your private prayers, which I get, like you're saying, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you, and you're calling for help and the guidance and understanding and all of these things, but everything that you're asking for, I believe that you already have attained. And I don't think you see that. Okay, here's spirit God coming in. Yeah, we need some guidance. So the angels and ancestors are coming in to assist you and lead you and guide you with your journey. It's not that you're lost, my love. You're on the right path, okay? Um, there's some things that, that need to be called judgment on. And I think the judgment is your development or the learning of your lesson in that development with that judgment energy so that you can step back into your element, Okay, with this father of fire. All right. And hold on to that. Because big changes are coming to your life with this tower coming in. This is chaos here. Big, big, big changes. Yeah. Big changes, my love. You know, I think you're expecting for somebody to do you wrong or do you dirty or some type of reveal is coming out. Um, Somebody, I think, lied in the past and you're expecting for it to like come to the fruition or fruition, excuse me. That's see, and again, I think this is something that's already over. It's just not hasn't been revealed. But my thing is, if you look at it like this, if it's revealed to you and your spirit, then it's revealed. The world has no say on, you know, what goes on. Only you do. You know what I'm saying? That's between you and God. If it's been revealed in your spirit, then it's been revealed, you know? So uh, Susie, Betty, Joe, Mike, it don't matter what they think. You know, it's revealed in your spirit. And that is the reveal. That is your confirmation and victory. That is your closure. Mm, Shama Lama Ding Dong. That went through me. And your new beginning. Here comes the boomstick. Yeah. Once you realize that, once you go through this journey and have this reflection of your journey and realize that what's revealed to you by God in your spirit is your closure, that allows you to begin anew. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave this here. Leo, this was awesome sauce, and I congratulate you, truly. And I know you don't feel like um, something is congratulatory right now, but believe me, you are just at the precipice of, of greatness, okay? Um, I hope this helps. If any event, you say, green eyes, I don't know you. You don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. You coughing all over the place. <laughs> I understand. Please uh, check your moon, check your rising. Um, don't take the energy with you if it's not for you. Leave it here for another Leo. All right. Everybody thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it supports the channel. All right. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.